Exactly a month ago today, artisanal fishing, which refers to fishing on a much smaller scale, came to a halt in Ghanaian waters. This was to allow the sea regenerate itself due to the country's dwindling fish stock. The one-month close season ends today. And as fisher folk across the country prepare to resume work, the Western Regional Marine Enforcement Unit is cautioning them to avoid illegal fishing practices or be arrested. City News' Akosie Jayanim has been speaking to some fishermen in Second D ahead of the reopening. The close fishing season was aimed at ending the over-exploitation of marine resources, especially fishing stock, which has been on the decline over the years. The close fishing season, generally referred to as a ban on fishing, has been on the drawing board since 1995, but successive governments have not been able to implement it due to disagreement over what time is appropriate and what the effect would be on the livelihood of fisher folk. When City News arrived at the Albert Bosuntrisan Fishing Harbor in Sekendi today, which is the last day of the close season for fishing, the usual busy atmosphere looked deserted with a few fishermen and mechanics repairing boats and fixing nets. Others were also seen taking their share of the premix fuel. Okay, the premix came in last Thursday around about 3 o'clock. And we were told not to sell. We should wait till this very day, the 15th. So we started this morning selling the premise. Everything is moving on smoothly. No trouble, no any confusion. So, I mean, the fisher foods are coming one by one because they told us they shouldn't move this morning, but rather around by 10 o'clock so they can come on. Tomorrow morning, so they are coming one by one to buy the food. The second fishing area is a big area. Those from Commander, Abuasi, Abuaze, Blue, all the rest, they all come here. So, what normally brings the confusion, the food doesn't, it, it, it's not enough to supply them. So, we are appealing that if every week they can bring the 7,000, uh, 3,527, I think it will be enough for the so that there will be no complaint, there will be no confusion. While they are excited about the expected reopening of the fishing season, some fishermen and their intermediaries spoke about the difficulties they encountered during the period. The one month we go into a big problem with the fishermen, so the whole coaster, because we don't have any plan. So the thing it comes into impromptu. I work with I get two boats. So this this cross season, I don't have money to pay them. So we make carry forward. So if we start business before I will get some money to pay them. So I pray say if we start the business, we will get fish. The preparation wasn't adequate, you see? In terms of maybe saving towards that wasn't adequate, so we were taken on away. So we have gone been through a lot. Others had to take to other hazardous jobs, like going to the uh, mining site to carry alluvial sand. You see, that hasn't been their want, but because of necessity, they had to rush to other alternative uh, livelihood, which wasn't convenient to them. But because they can't survive without money. So they had to go. That's why I'm saying that. Look at the whole place, deserted. And also those uh, helpers, the helper hands, they have been preferring a lot around here, especially at our office. Those, the gas oil belonging to the, the engine oil belonging to the chief fisherman in a drum hole was taken away. During the period. During the period. And the plastic buckets of the women, they used to buy fish, everything. Even, I understand, in the Gapoa uh, washroom, out there, they've got to chip out the the tiles from the walls. They'll be going to sell it as uh, broken tiles to some contract con construction workers. I, I just can't imagine because it has, it has financially it has had a toll on us. The Fisheries Commission, which was involved in the planning and monitoring of the one-month ban announced by the Ministry of Fisheries and Aquaculture, says. The one month is not enough for any significant results, but rather the continuous adherence to the approved fishing methods. We started um, gathering data, and SFMP are also supporting us to take some biological data. 
our MNE unit is also taking data on socioeconomic impacts of the close season. Having said that, the one month is just a step and to ensure or see the real benefits of the close season, we need to sustain it, not just one month, but it has to be probably several years. It wouldn't take one month to replenish um, the stocks. But the one month is a key step to replenishing the stocks. What we add to that is that ensuring that fishers continue to abide by the fishes laws and regulations by not engaging in un um, unapproved um, fishing methods such as use of lights, carbide and then other methods that we all know about. Speaking about how fishermen in the western region complied with the ban, Corporal Ajimano Pambo of the Marine Enforcement Unit said the compliance level was satisfactory. He however warned fishermen against the use of illegal fishing methods. Within this one month, we have been able to go through all the uh, coastal communities, uh, the, especially the landing beaches, to make sure that the one month uh, fishes ban is uh, being uh, observed. And so far, uh, we can give fishermen about 98% compliance. Though we have some issues, we have made one or two arrests, we have seized some couple of nets that you can see over there. All the communities that we have been through, about 90% of them are complaining about the light. So they themselves, the fishermen, knows that using light for fishing is against the law and it is also disturbing their activities on the sea. So the advice that I can give them is that the FEU is there, after the ban we are there and we are going to make sure that we patrol all the area of our jurisdiction to arrest this kind of light fishing, illegalities, uh, dynamite and other things. So we want to caution all fishermen to be very careful because when the law gets you, it's not me who has get you, it is the law. And we'll make sure that you deal with the law accordingly. Apart from the one-month closure for the canoe and inshore fishers, which ends today, June 15th, industrial trawlers are also expected to take a break from fishing activities from August 1st to September 30th, 2019. Whilst the Marine Enforcement Unit is urging fishermen to actually operate with the right practices as expected of them with the commencement of fishing activities, fishermen are also calling on the Marine Enforcement Unit to actually sincerely enforce the fisheries regulatory instrument to ensure that the right practices are actually observed. For City News, I am Akwesi Ejenim, the Albert Mosulichi Fishing Harbor here in Second D.